Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. So today we're going to be expanding the factories and uh, I think potentially making reinforced iron plates automated, but we will see what happens. Um, our milestone is pretty close to being finished, so that is kind of what we're going to be doing. Alright, so, how feasible do you think it is, honey, making reinforced iron plates? Me make them right now? No, like, as a factory. You don't know. Okay. No. Well, we're probably going to need the Mark II conveyors anyway, so it's definitely not going to be an efficient factory yet. No. So. That's another thing that we need more of. And I guess not really anything. So, this milestone's gonna be finished. Yep. Yep. Oh. I did it. I had. Why? What do you mean, why? Why did you finish it? I just went and got three. <laughs> I had some plates on me. Why are you gonna go take my glory? I'm sorry. Uh, I will I just. I literally did everything else. I know you did a great job. All right, so what's the other? Hmm. Is it okay if we do logistics mark two first? I already clicked on it. Oh. I mean, we can probably change it. Yeah, I changed it. I changed it. Alright. Alright, so, yeah. Because we are going to need the faster conveyor belts for this. So, alright, so we're gonna need, oh, actually, if you want to just work on, I guess, a milestone, that's fine. Um, I, I'm gonna work on making a constructor right now, so that way we can figure out how fast they can make uh, reinforced iron plates, because I do not remember off the top of my head. All right, so it looks like reinforced iron plates can be produced at five parts per minute. And they take 30 iron plates per minute and then 60 screws per minute. Let's see here, how much constructor or reinforced iron plates. All right, I think it's time for my drawing skills, honey. Ooh. Yep. Yeah, show the world. <laughs> All right, so right here, this is essentially the amount of reinforced iron plates I'm going to be shooting for. Uh, so we're going to be shooting for 15 iron reinforced iron plates per minute. Um, it's going to need 90 plates per minute and then 180 screws per minute. Um, for screws, we can produce 40, um, but that requires 10 rods per minute. And then plates requires 20, well, plates output would be 20, which requires 30 iron ore per minute. So that means that we're going to need five of these plate productions and also about five screws 
uh, five constructors being making screws or assemblers making screws, um, which is going to require a lot of iron. Um, and then also for rods to make those screws, which are, will have to be 10, well, probably higher, depending. So let's see here. So iron rods, 15. So 15 and 15 iron ore. One minute. So if we need five of these, so it would be 200. This will be 50. That means that this will be producing 60. 60. 100. And 150. So it looks like we're in total we're going to need oh two hundred and thirty no two hundred and ten iron ore hmm. which is quite a bit. Um, so where did you find that pure the pure iron ore? Here and I can show you. Oh yeah, over here. Yeah, just yeah. straight ahead. Yeah, I, kn I know I know about that stuff as well. I wasn't sure if there's something closer. Um, that's pretty close. Yeah, I know. Um, so I guess. Yeah. All right. So. Hmm. I think pure is going to give us around 120 per minute. So, impure. Oh, I thought there was one up there. I guess not. Impure. Impure. And impure. Wait, where did you see the pure? All these ones are impure over here. Oh, you were probably looking that at the... One. Yeah, you were probably looking at the actual... The, the structure of it. You have to look at the what's below it. You have to look at what's on the ground. Because th oh. these are always pure. Oh. So that means that total here we have 120 per minute. So that's not going to give us enough. At least with the minor mark one. Which is too bad. I think there's more this way. Yeah, this way. So I'm going to go look at this iron. See if, uh, I think this is where we made it last time. I think this one will provide us with enough. Then after this, we're going to have a problem with uh, making enough uh, electricity for it. Yeah. I think this normal... Okay. There we go. Normal and normal. Okay, so that's going to give us what? 60, so 3, 180. That's not even enough. Hmm. We might have to just wait for the minor mark 2 then. Unless we want to... I guess I can continue searching. I don't, I don't want to make this too far away. So instead of... We do 10. And that means... 60, this will go down to 120, this, this will go down to 120, that's nice, 
I'm gonna build the man. Okay. It's probably a good idea. Should be able to. Yeah. Okay. And that will make it so that it is down to 120. Okay. That's doable. So right over here we can actually, I think, this will have enough iron per minute, then, for us to be able to. It's just gonna be kind of slow. It happens. Yeah. Yeah, this will be- this will provide enough. So that means... This is where the actual drawing will take place. All right, so I just drew up like our schematics for our factory's plan. Now the only problem is, is that right now, well actually no, that's not true. We do actually have the Mark II conveyors now. Um, so Deanna just finished that milestone. So we can actually make this to being efficient. Because I was thinking that right here would be a problem because this, at this point, it would be 120 screws per minute. So 120 screws right here when all of these merge into one. But that's actually not gonna be a problem. We'll just have to use a really short amount of Mark II conveyors. Um, so yeah, basically we have uh, three, um, three assemblers making plates. Uh, that are then distributing into uh, constructors that are constructing the reinforced iron plates. Um, and then a little bit more complicated of the screws, not really that complicated though, um, that is just taking in rods. So, you know, 30, 30 rods per, s per minute um, into the screws, which will then make 120 screws per minute, which is then feeding into the reinforced iron plates. So time that we actually go ahead and make this now all right so the first things first we're gonna have to get rid of these how's the milestone going honey almost done oh, okay this is an easy one yeah we did end up skipping that one so kind of makes sense that the last one was harder I guess. Yep. I will let you know. Go. Alright, and I forgot some concrete because we're going to need a foundation. Because I don't like just building on the soil. Mm-hmm. You don't need me to bring you concrete or something? Mm, no, I got it.
Yes! Alright, so I'm gonna, uh, let's walk through this, uh, this factory we've made here. So, 
This is going to produce iron ingots, and they're going to be coming down here, get split up, and made into rods. And, yep, that one's already being made into rods, it seems like. Huh. Um, then these are going to get merged back into a merger, and then into a splitter. Um, this is just to make sure that everything gets an equal amount. So this one is going to be making the screws, and this one is going to be making screws, and this one will be making screws. So that way it's a total of 120 per minute. Um, these don't have to be marked twos though, because they're only be transporting 40 at a time. This one right here though is going to be have to have to be marked two, um, as it's going to be transporting about well 120. So all of those should be able to merge into this seamlessly. Um, and then these are just getting split up and put into each one. So if we look at it, we need first 60 and we hit the mark for screws. Then going to the iron plates. So let's see here. Um, so pretty much all of these are just being fed. All these smelters are being fed right into these constructors which will be making iron plates. Um, there we go. And that will all be efficient. And then these will just go on this massive long conveyor belt, uh, go into a merger, then to a splitter, and split them up so they're nice and equal. Um, and both of those are set up. All right, now the only thing that we have left to do is set up power, and then this should be good to go. Uh, Deanna's been working on making a lot more uh, biomass burners, so that way we can hopefully power all of this. And just enough cable. Alright, so let's go figure out the power issue. Well, I guess we're gonna, we're gonna need to fill these up. Have you been getting a lot of biomass, honey? Yes. Okay. Hold on. We need another power pole. I think all of them are connected. Think. Looks like it. Are they able to produce enough? They are. Nice. So it doesn't look like we need all of them working. So I'm gonna uh, turn some of them off. Oh. Okay, there we go. So I guess we didn't need as many as I thought we would need. Right, so screws are being delivered, looks like. Not exactly efficient yet. It's getting there, though. 
Should be like almost a constant stream. Yeah, it's looking more like a constant stream now. All right? That should be the same case. Actually, no. Yeah, that should be the same case. Well, kind of with these. Not so much, though. Well, so I guess this actually doesn't have to be a conveyor mark, too. This can just be there. There. And we also need an out. I didn't even think about that. So we're just gonna go ahead and build a storage right over here. And with a merger, nothing too pretty, I guess. Ah, a lot of lag is happening now. All right, there we go. And uh, reinforced iron plates is being produced. Wowza. Wowza, we did it, babe. <laughs> Took a little bit of time, but we did it. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. What do you think, honey? I think so. You think so? Alright. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, anything of the sorts, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, if you guys are new and you guys like this video, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.